What is up everybody, my name is Tyler Potts and in this video we're going to be doing a React drag and drop system. By the way, up here you will see a um, clip of me dragging and dropping the items in the React app. So you can see it's just two basic uh, boards. Uh, one on the left, one on the right, card one and card two. You can drag both cards either side in React. So it's going to be super easy. So, but anyway, without further ado, let's get on with the video. Okay, everybody, so I'm going to go into my terminal now. And in my terminal, I'm going to type, if I can see my terminal, uh, I'm going to type in npx create React app. And then we're going to give it a name. So in here, I'm going to write in uh, react DND &D for drag and drop. I'm going to click create and it's going to create us a new React app. So I'll see you once this has finished. Okay, for now that's done, you'll see over here we can now. I've lost my terminal thing. Uh, <laughs> you now see we can write in here, we can CD into that project. So it's going to be the name we called it React DND. &D. And then after that, we're going to say npm. Well, actually, I'm going to run code dot to open it up in my. Uh, VS Code text editor, and then after that, I'm going to run npm start. So this goes start our React app, just like we've done in other previous videos. So, oh, hello. So we're going to have this reload, so we can see what's going on. And in here, we're going to do some cleanup. So in the cleanup, we're going to go into source, and we're going to delete all the files we don't need. So we're going to delete app. We're going to delete app test.js. I'm going to keep uh, index, but we'll rename it to main because I prefer that naming structure. We're going to delete the logo. We could go into index and rename this to main.css and we're going to save that. We're going to go into app and we're going to remove the logo and app CSS and we're going to actually delete everything in here, even including the header. We're then going to create a main.flex box and after the main.flex box, we're going to create, well, we're just going to say here, here will be our boards. So let's make sure we've done everything. So we've got our main, we've got our index. We're not going to change this up. We're just going to leave it as it is. Um, so I think that's all we need to get started. So let's have a look. Has this re reloaded? Yes, it has. It says here will be our boards. Nice. So let's create our boards. So we need to create a new component. So we're going to create a new folder and we're going to call it components. In here, we're going to create a file called board or board.js. And it's going to where we create our uh, board. Um, and in here, we're going to say, I've, I have something called um, React snippets or something like that. So I can just do this and it's going to create my boilerplate React app. Um, you can get this extension on VS Code by going into your search editor and searching for, let me just find it, here it is, ES7 React Redux GraphQL and React Native Snippets. Now, once we have wrote that, we can then, after the default board, we can write in here props, because we're going to need to pull through some props. We're then going to write up here, const drop, and this could be the drop function so when we on drop when we drop something on top of that's weird uh, uh breaking stuff yeah when we drop something on top of it this function will be called but first let's actually create our um board so in here we're going to say props.children because we're going to basically be able to so what this means is we're going to be able to say board slash board and anything we put in between here is the children what's going to appear in here if that makes sense so our cards will be our prop star children basically um, let's go back to our structure here um, so we've got drop now in drop we want it, we want to prevent the default because we this will stop anything erroring and then we want to get the card ID because we're going to actually basically how we're going to move the cards around is by that ID. So we're going to say e dot data transfer, which is part of the event. So this is a data transfer and we're going to use something called get data and we're going to pass through a key. And this key is going to say 
um, I'm going to call this what card ID and you can name this whatever you want you this is your variable you just need to make sure you use this when we actually tran when we actually like set the data so if you've used local storage before it's similar to that we set some data and then we get some data but this is to do with only this event now we've got the card id we then want to say const uh, card is equal to document dot get element by id and we're going to pass through the card id we're then going to say cards dot style dot display is equal to block the reason we're doing this is because we're actually going to hide the block or the uh, card when we first start dragging it because then that makes it look like you've actually picked up the card instead of there being two elements on the screen and i'll explain more about this in one second when we actually get to it we're then going to say e dot target which means the uh, board we're going to drop on top of and we're going to say append child card because what we're doing here is we're going to grab this target so this board and we're going to add append a child inside here of card so the element we've got by id so it's going to drop it into this element we're then going to have a const drag over event which is going to be equal to an another event and we're going to say e dot prevent default and this is just so when we drag over it doesn't break it so if you let go it doesn't actually do anything this actually allows it to continue on with the function of dropping um, so now with that we actually want to set a few props on here so we're going to say props to id because we're going to pass this through we'll say on so let's break this down so we'll say id and then we're going to say on drop so this is the on drop event we're going to pass through the drop event and then we're going to say on drag over or oh, over and this is going to be our obviously drag over event so this is called when we drag one of the cards over the board and this is called when we actually let go over the board and now down here we're going to say class name is equal to props dot class name because we're going to get the classes we applied and apply it straight to this board and that is all we need to do this is all their code there is for the board component now you're probably thinking that can't be it but that is it the main thing what does all the heavy lifting is this part here this little block of code here does all the heavy lifting it basically we transfer the id basically between this event and we basically use that to um, get element by id and we get that element and then we um, append it to this uh, board and that is all there is to it so let's create our card component now so we'll say card.js and I'm going to use my snippets again and once again we're going to pass through props I've just noticed my there we go uh, let's do that um, and now in here we're going to say props.children and in here we're going to say id again we're going to say props.id because we want to make sure we pass through and this time we're going to have an on drag event so when we first start dragging or on drag start sorry not on drag because that would be continuous we just want on drag and we're going to pass through a drag start event and then we're going to say on drag over and again drag over is just going to prevent us from dragging um, the card over and we're also going to pass through class name here and we're going to say props.class name now we're going to add the most important part to this whole um, dragging card element which is the draggable component and we don't need to set this to a prop or anything this is just going to be equal to true because all cards are going to be draggable maybe you can and actually saying that you can actually maybe set something so you, cards are not draggable as well so you could probably change this to be a perfect you know what, let's do it props dot draggable now what this is going to basically mean is we're going to have if we want to change it so this isn't able to be dragged around and dropped then we can set this to false so that is an awesome way if you want to have settings so you can only drag certain cards you can do that so let's create our const drag 
star if uh, 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 I forgot what it's called method. <laughs> We're going to pass through the fence and we're going to, once again, we're going to say, we're going to get the target. So the item we're actually dragging, which is going to be e.target. We're then going to say e.data transfer. So remember what we did in our board over here. We did this get data. This time we want to set data. So we're going to say dot set data. And now we're going to give it the same name we pass here. So we pass through card ID. So we've got to pass through that again, because this is how we reference this data. And now we're actually going to pass through target.id. So we're getting the element we're dragging. So this, what we're dragging, the card we're dragging, and we're going to get its ID and we're going to set it the data. So that is how we're passing the data through here. So once that's done, we're going to say set timeout and then we're going to pass through an arrow function and we're going to set this set time up to zero. The reason we're doing this is because, let me show you, set target dot style dot display is equal to none. So we're going to set to none. And the reason we're doing set timeout is because if we don't, when we actually start dragging the card, it's going to make the card we're dragging invisible too. We want to be able to grab it so we have a reference to it and then make it invisible. So this is going to give it just enough delay to do that. And that is what zero will do. We're now going to create a drag over. So we'll say const drag over. And we'll set this equal to e dot stop prop. Propagation. So this is going to stop any other offense being called when we actually drag the card over it. So we can't drag and drop cards into cards, if you get what I mean. Now, this is going to look horrible. We're going to go over here. Ref oh, no, wait. You can't actually see anything because we haven't done any start. We haven't done anything here, but we need to call this stuff. So we want to say import board from dot slash component slash board. We're then going to say import card from card. Now, once we've done that, I'm going to basically call this in. So we're going to say board, and in here we're going to say card. And in here we're going to add a paragraph, which is going to say card one. And then in this card, we're going to pass through an ID of card one or card one. We're going to pass through a class name of just card. We're then going to pass through, um, did we pass through anything? Draggable, that's it, the draggable property. Draggable, and we're going to set this equal to true this time. So it's going to pass through all those properties down to the card. We need to do the same for the board. So we're going to say board is equal to board one. Class name is equal to board. And I believe that's all we need to pass through for this one. Yeah, because we've already passed through the rest of these. Nice. Now we're going to create a second board so we can drag between boards and we're not dragging to the same one. And we're going to be creating a second card. So we're going to get this board, go paste it in, and we're going to say card two. And now we've got card two and board two. So these are two boards. Now if we go over here, you'll see we've got one and two. You'll see no ground, but we can actually drag these now, but they disappear. And that's because we need to get some styling in there too. So let's do that. So in main CSS, I'm going to just quickly sort a few things. Oh, I know we've done that. So I'm going to delete everything in here and I'm going to create a margin equal to zero padding equal to zero a box sizing box sizing please of border box a body of background color f3 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 and then we're gonna i'm gonna say dot flex box is equal to display flex justify content space between we're going to give it a width of 100%, a max width of 768 pixels, and a height of 100 vertical height, so the board stretched the whole way across, or the whole way down. 
We'll set overflow hidden, although we won't need it for this demo. And we'll set zero auto for the uh, margin to center it. We're then gonna give it a padding of 15 pixels. I'm assuming, because I just realized I'm very zoomed out here. We're then gonna say dot flex box dot board. So this is gonna be the style of the board. We'll also go display it as a flex, but this time we're gonna have the flex direction as a column. So it's going vertically and not horizontally. We're gonna say width 100% and max width 300 pixels. We'll set the background color equal to 313131. And we'll set the padding equal to 15 pixels. We're then gonna do another flexbox dot board dot card. And we're gonna set the padding to 15 pixels, 25 pixels. The background oh, color is gonna be equal to F3, F3, F3. The cursor of pointer, so it looks like we're actually, you know, pointing out. And then bottom margin bar of 15 pixels to space them out. And that is all the styling we're gonna do. So if we go back, you'll see we've got the boards. If we refresh, we've got cards in there. So now if I drag card one, you'll see that when I dragged it, the previous one disappears. So if we disable quickly, oh, don't do that. If we go into card and we disable this timeout, we hit save and we refresh, you'll see there's now two cards. There's one there and one here. Obviously when we drag it, it does disappear, but we kind of want it so it disappears. So that's where this um, target style display none comes in. But you're gonna see now, if I drag it, the whole thing has disappeared. And the reason it's disappeared is because we've set it to display none before we've actually started dragging. So it's pulled the style from what it was. So card one, it's pulled this style, but it's also displayed none. So we can't actually see it no more. So that's where this timeout comes in because it kind of adds a delaying before adding the display none because this adds it to the elements still on the board while we have the data in our hand or in our cursor. And as you can see, we can now drag the two cards between one another. And that is all it takes. That is every single thing you need to create a drag. I've just dragged it out of, <laughs> out of the screen, which isn't good. So don't drag and drop out because that deletes it for this. <laughs> but for that guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy the video, then leave a thumbs up. If you wanna see more, then obviously hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell if you want to be the first person on the scene. Uh, if you have any feedback, drop it in the comment. If you like the new intro, guys, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Thanks, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video and peace out. Always do it on my own, so I gotta get through it. And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing. Never give up, never slow till I finally prove it. Never listen to the no's, I just wanna keep moving. Keep my head up when I act, head up, that's a fact. Never looking back, I'ma keep myself on track. Keep my head up, staying strong, always moving on. Feel I don't belong, tell my thoughts to move along. Push myself to be the